Hi, this is Steve from Grow Your Food. I'm going to show you how to build a hydroponic system. This is here is a hybrid, like an airflow. It has water film on the bottom, and then you got a pipe that squirts uh, water in each little basket here. And this reservoir I got, uh, I started out with a 30 gallon, but this is a 38 gallon. In the summertime, what happens is uh, when the I grew tomatoes in the, these. Uh, this this unit and uh, they use a lot of water when it's hot so I needed the bigger reservoir for the water uh, supply but most of the time I just use this for propagating and this is a three unit you can make uh, uh, two units or just one unit when you're growing tomatoes you probably should just use a single unit because the, the things get so big they really grow in this thing um, you can see the unions I have here this is the pipe coming out with a pump the pump I've used is a, a hydroponic pump you can buy them at the hydroponic stores it's a 600 gallon per hour pump and that's about right for this unit this unit you can go a little bigger but if you use like a, a, a waterfall pump they use a lot more current and uh, it's it's better to be more energy efficient and one other thing I do is when it gets dark I shut the pump off and in the morning I turn it back on which works just fine um, I'm going to show you the this here is just a Rubbermaid container and I'll lift this lid and you can see how the pump is you use a piece of uh, line that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's or that comes from the pump up to the PVC there's they make adapters I think that's uh, half inch line or three quarter line I'm not sure it's been a while since I built this. then I you see the drain deal here it's lower that way every couple weeks you got to drain the system and put new fertilizer in and you can use organic or non-organic it doesn't matter and um, and then the piping you see how the piping you can do it different ways you can come in the center what I noticed is this first one here gets more water than the other two when you when you run them but there's not much difference but I'm going to show you here these vinyl posts here I got at Lowe's they're twenty dollars a piece and uh, there's fourteen holes of the seven eighths these are seven eighths there's fourteen all the way down there's fourteen holes and they're eight foot length and I got caps for each end and I use aquarium silicone to seal them and then the first hole is a four inch hole and you use a, a sewer a cap that you use for testing sewer lines they glue these on and then they fill them full of water and they well these work just perfect they fit right on there uh, so the first hole you use a hole saw and you cut it out three inches from the end the next hole down you start the center of it will be nine inches from the end and that's your first hole the two and seven eighths hole right here and so then the spacing between them from there is six and a half inches to center roughly so there's a total of 14 holes two and seven eighths hole saw this is a four inch hole saw okay uh, you see the bottom down there what that is is an inch and a quarter female adapter and underneath we look over here if you flip it over whoops that's a male adapter so they just screw together and you silicone them and that's good enough to do it so I just drop my uh, and how I do center points is I just use a square on the edge these are five inch by five inch let me look just to make sure yeah five by five vinyl not uh, kinda like a fence post. so you use them for uh, uh, screens and stuff they use a vinyl thing and these are the posts that don't have any holes in them so and then the inside of this thing where the it, water goes what it is is you drill a hole an eighth inch hole down underneath the cup so it scrays down and and angled towards the cup it's in front of the cup that's what you got to do and I'll show you here if I can get this out. You can see the first hole there see that first hole right there it's a little bit of an angle and what you need to do is you put this pipe in ahead of time you drill a hole like right there in the corner of the cap 
and the other end is in the same respect and then you got to do the end you got to put a plug in the end and a male adapter that's what I use you can do it different ways but let me get this through here oh, it's sealed because it's got a rubber I got a little rubber thing on it and you see the hole right there but anyway you line those up to where the holes squirt into the bottom in front of the mesh basket I'll show you the baskets in a minute and what when you this pipe here is half inch and a schedule 40 and the easiest way to do this is you you get your length and everything and then you mark each one with a magic marker where you want it in front of the basket right here at an angle and what you do is you take it out and you clamp it down so it's you want to keep it straight so the holes are all lined up and straight so they all squirt the same and then you you drill a little pilot hole through each one and then you mark it and drill it at an angle so it's at an angle so these here are the baskets these are puffed up clay rocks there's different brand names for them and this thing sits in there and uh, then that water sprays and there's a water level in there the water level varies depending on how old your plants are this here you want your water levels higher you want it up higher so it's just in the bottom of the basket when you uh, first start cuttings or start new like lettuce or tomatoes what you do is you you start them in in soil you get the second leaf you take them out you, sh you wash this soil off you stick them in you stick this in a fresh basket you put the plant in the basket then you put the rocks in around them so the roots are in there and in about a day they'll, they'll be out of shock and they'll be growing I mean they're fast and then once you the you can op pull these out and look at your plant and see how the roots are in these things you know afterwards and uh, uh, you can see how the roots when the roots start dropping down on the water then you can lower the water level but they grow really fast in this thing I don't know if I'm using this camera right I'm sorry but um, you can start see cuttings too the same way uh, what you do is you take a cutting you want to slice it at a 45 degree angle you take uh, all the leaves off but the top three leaves you use a cutting about uh, six inches tall somewhere in there and uh, you root tone it of course and you stick it in this basket and what I do is I go clear down to the bottom of the basket and then put the pellets in and then you, you cut some of the top leaves off you know you half of the leaf off so you leave a little bit of the leaf so you don't lose a lot of evaporation and what you do is what I do is I put a cup over top of that plant and I mist it with a with a spray bottle and keep it misted a couple times a day and uh, that keeps it from evaporating out and in a couple weeks you get a cutting started you got to do this in early spring or or if you're in the uh, in a warmer place you could probably do it right now uh, but uh, you wait too long in the summer and it is too hot for them. You see, cuttings are real hard to start. You don't keep it cooler. Um, and so, but some things take longer to root. And uh, you put fertilizer in this uh, tank down here. And you keep the water level about three quarters of full. full and every couple of weeks you got to drain the system. You put, a ho you put a hose on this and you drain it out. And... Uh, you put new fertilizer in and then I have what I have is uh, you have to have one of these uh, if, these these things right here uh, parts per million meter it tells you how much fertilizer you got you can use one of these if you're going to use the commercial stuff the organics you probably get by with just putting in the amount that they tell you to put in per gallon and change it every up to sometimes you can go a month but usually it's every two weeks that you need to do something you know change it out but sometimes in the summer times you need to do it every week yeah you, know, you also got to look at the pH of your water you should keep your pH of your water about 6.5 depending on your well water or if you have chlorine if you have chlorine uh, it might vary it some too I have well water here so my water is about 6.5 so it stays pretty good most of the time that's what you want if you need the pH goes low it's a lot of times it'll go low if you have a real heavy feed on your plants 
it'll drop because of the fertilizer use. Like I used to grow strawberries and I watched the pH just drop like crazy. It's just taking all the fertilizer out when they're really fruit and heavy. But uh, and more, more, most of the time it, it doesn't change much. Uh, uh, I can't think of too much more. Now you, you can kind of see uh, how I did it. And uh, you can really grow some things real fast. It's amazing how fast things go from when you put them in here and they're in shock and they're kind of wilted and the next day they're growing in about three days you wouldn't believe how fast things grow in this thing this is kind of like a hybrid model because you have water in the bottom and then you got these spray nozzles that oxygenate the water and, 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 and squirt water in there so this is a real good system I like it and also being square not being round the root balls don't block the the flow. A lot of times when you have the round you get such big root balls that it blocks the water from going past and then it overflows you have a real problem when you get big plants. They really want to grow in this thing. Sometimes I get roots that go down the hole here and when when the plants get bigger you pop this off and you and you uh, let the water level lower and you want to keep this fairly level uh, on the thing. I've just you can use saw horses or anything like that to do it with but that's that's all I got to say today I'll see you later bye